Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor. And in this video, we are going to talk about topic number two of chapter number seven. The topic is computer systems, subsystems and decomposition. Okay, so particularly I'm going to talk about what is a computer system? What are the components and subsystems in a computer system? And what are the examples of a computer system that we use in our daily life? So let's go into the video. The very first thing is what is a computer system? So let me share a simple definition with you so that you can understand what is a computer system. A computer system system is an integrated form of different components components that work together that work together to give a desired result. It means that a computer system is an integrated form of different components or it is a set of further subsystems that are working together or they are combined together. Why? Because they are going to give you a result, a combined result, or they are grouped together to perform a single task. This is what a computer system is, where you have lots of components that are grouped together or integrated in order to perform a task. Okay, now let's talk about what are the components that are grouped together in order to make up a computer system. So let's talk about the com components or the subsystems in a computer system. Okay, in your book, there are five subsystems of a computer system. Let's just talk about the names of those subsystems. The very first is software. A computer system is made up of software, data, hardware, communication, And the final is people. Because people, a user or a developer, is also required in order to make up a computer system or to use a computer system. So we are going to see all of these components in detail in the next video. Now let's move towards the third part of the video. That is examples of a computer system that we use examples okay let me tell you that a computer can system can be very small limited to, limited to a single device limited or it can be a very large computer system let's talk about it okay if i talk about my mobile because i use mobile so often in my daily life so inside my mobile i use some applications what are those like it can be an alarm application, it can be a sound recorder, it can be a keeping note application, or it can be your photo gallery. So these are some of the small applications that we use in our daily routine. And that are basically smaller computer systems. Why? Because they are just limited to your mobile phone. But let's talk about the large computer systems. If I talk about some applications that I use, like Facebook, like Google, like Maps. So these are the large computer systems. Why? Because I know that Facebook has lots of information that is coming from the servers 
that are working behind the Facebook. Similarly, Google has gives us a lot of information. So it is all because of the servers that are having all those information that save the information that process us and, and that gives us information of anything that we need maps it gives us location of any place that we want it is all because of the servers that are working at the back so when you have a large network behind a computer system so we call it a large computer system but when you have a limited application that is resisted to your device this is a small computer system so i hope that you got the examples you got the meaning of computer system and the components of it this is all about this video in the next video we are going to talk about the top down design of a computer system thank you so much for watching it stay tuned stay connected bye bye have a nice day